Last year in 2022, I planned a pregnancy and was able to achieve it by getting pregnant April of 2022. I gave birth to my first baby boy November of 2022. I was very excited that I was having a boy considering the fact that I just lost my father as of June 2022. In two months before my dad passed away in April of 2022, I had told him that I was pregnant. And my dad said that he knew that it would be a boy because he prayed to God about it and asked for a grandson. So upon finding out from the doctor that I was having a boy, I was really pretty excited about it. As time passed on and my baby boy grew, I I felt like my family was finally complete, especially after going through a 10 year long custody battle with my own mother to win custody of my oldest daughter back so that my family could finally be at peace and begin to heal. It was really the best decision that I ever decided to make and I have no regrets. The girls love having a baby brother, you guys, and fuss over him often. And as a family, we never forget to remind him how wanted and loved he is. So seven months ago, I did a review for NBA Youngboy's baby mama, Jania Michelle's waist trainer that I ordered from her business. And if y'all tuned into this specific video, you guys, y'all would notice that I was having a hard time putting on the waist trainer and didn't know if it was because I was fat or I had got the wrong size. I recorded this video February 18th and I got my birth control on February 28th and had decided to get the next one on that goes in your arm and lasts up to three years. Unfortunately, God had another plan for my life. On July 7th of 2023, I found out that I was 22 weeks pregnant. Not only did I find out I was five months pregnant, you guys, but I was also informed that I was suffering from a life-threatening pregnancy complication that landed me in the hospital on August 22nd. And this is me on August 25th, bored out of my mind. Because of my life-threatening pregnancy complication, the doctors thought that it was best that I remain in the hospital until the delivery of my baby. So I remained in the hospital for 24 days, you guys, and my family had to come and visit me in the hospital, and I was not allowed to go home. My babies at home did not understand why mama was gone, you guys, but it was all worth it because on September 11th, I gave birth to my second sunshine. I gave birth to him September 11th, 2023 at 1.40 a.m. via emergency C-section. Because he was two months early, he was only three pounds. He had to wear a CPAP machine, which is basically an oxygen mask that helps newborn babies breathe. And until this very day, you guys, he is currently still in the NICU and has been there for over 33 days now. And unfortunately, because he is in the NICU and I've already been discharged from the hospital, I'm not allowed to stay the night with him. However, I go and visit him twice a day. And this is my son's first 24 hours of life in the NICU. I haven't been on this channel in a while, you guys, and I felt that it was important that I give y'all the backstory before just introducing this video to you because I felt like a lot of people would be confused. Like, didn't you just have your baby last year? And yes, I did. I had a son in November of 2022, and 10 months later, I had another baby boy. And because this is my last child, you guys, and I had gotten my fallopian tubes removed, I will no longer be having any children in the future. And I wanted to vlog this experience as it is my last baby. And these are important memories that I never want to forget.
this I can do it like that. Don't pull just yet because I'm just looking at this. Oh, mm -hmm. you're good? Yeah. Oh, he's so tiny. Oh, I'm so tiny. 